Hello everybody, welcome to Drawing of Waffles. Today is a little bit of a different video. I don't have like one subject per se that I'll be drawing. I'm going to be drawing four different sketches. All of me, which sounds a little bit uh, self-obsessed, but hey, whatever. I'm drawing it. Let's do this. Anyway, it's about what I wore. And I usually just wear whatever's like closest to me and I can just throw on before I leave the house for the most part. <laughs> But uh, I was kind of actually kind of proud of some of the things I had worn over the last week. So I decided to draw four of them. The one I'm drawing right now is the one that I'm actually wearing right now. It is my uh, slouching around the house outfit. Yep. <laughs> anyway, um, my idea for this is I know on Instagram a lot of people do like their outfit of the day drawings. And they'll take a picture of themselves and then they'll draw themselves. And it's really, really cute and I like that. But um, back when I was just getting into digital art and I was obsessed with Deviant Art, the website, <laughs> um, I had a few favorite artists and one of them was Raven Scar. She's changed her Deviant Art name um, to something else. But I'll have that linked in the description if you want to check her out. But basically what she would do is she would draw herself what she wore. And that's what she called it. She called it what I wore. And I always loved these sketches because they they looked really, really pretty and they were simple and they showed exactly what she wore. And you know, that's all it really needed to do. And that's why I really liked them. <laughs> anyway, I just talked through the whole first sketch, but that's my um, baby Groot shirt that I do. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite shirts. I got it on T Fury and um uh, yeah, I buy a lot of my graphic tees on T-Fury. T-Fury.com. My favorite thing. Yeah. Anyway, this outfit I'm drawing now is an outfit I drew, I wore, wore, I wore over the weekend. Um, basically, it's my fashionable outfit. <laughs> it's something that makes me, I mean, like, not makes me. It's something that looks more expensive than anything else I wear. <laughs> so basically, it's just a sweater, a skirt, and some shoes. So, yeah. And I actually wore my hair down, which doesn't happen like, that often, so that happened. Um, if you saw, it's colored in the sweater pink first. That's because whenever I want to color in something white, it's hard to tell sometimes that you're coloring it in if you're using white to color in what you need to color in. So I'll usually pick like a bright color just so I can color in the object that I need to be white and then later I'll just change it white because with like a paint bucket tool or with the hue and saturation, it's just a lot easier for me and it helps me fill in all the spaces without having to go in later and fix that. Um, that's something that happened, yeah. I'm actually kind of proud of the way I sketched out my skirt. It actually really looks like my skirt, even though it's just a bunch of scribbles. kind of looks like the flowers and the leaves and the purple, blue flowers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of happy with that. I think it turned out pretty well. Also, here's my third sketch now. Um, this outfit is one that I wore to work yesterday. It's basically just black pants, black boots, and a shirt. But it's like one of my favorite shirts. It makes me feel like a superhero. <laughs> um, you can't really tell in this picture. I probably picked a bad pose. But I was kind of just coming up with poses as I went. Um, but the shirt, it's got it's got three different colors on it. And they're like very blocky. So like the front of the shirt in like a triangle shape, it's maroon. The back of the shirt and the sleeves are like this sort of tan color. And then the cuffs and then the the hem, the bottom hem of the shirt are gray. And the bottom hem is just so thick. It just it makes me feel like I'm wearing like a superhero utility belt or something. I don't know. I just really like the shirt. It's like my favorite. And I'm starting to wear it out, which makes me really, really sad because I've worn it so much. But, I mean, that's the price you got to pay when you love something so much. You break it. That's, that's just how it goes. Anyway, I put my hair in a braid for this. I didn't actually have my hair in a braid that day, but I didn't feel like drawing another ponytail. So... <laughs> And I wear my hair in a braid often enough that it, I do, I, it's, it's fine. It's cool. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, and I have, ooh, those eyes were creepy. <laughs> um, I had a little trouble with the eyes in this one. I don't know why. And then there's something about the picture. Just the face was throwing me off. I think it's because I drew, like, the wrinkles of me turning my head around. Maybe. I don't know. But I, I also kind of like it because it looks more, not realistic. That is definitely not the word. Um, it just seems more appropriate. Not appropriate either. What is the word? It just looks like I'm turning my head, okay? <laughs> Whatever word means something like that. Anyway, here's my third pose. I had to flip it around because it's a little bit more of a, uh, there's a lot more motion in this pose, even though she's standing still. So I had to flip the canvas just for that sketch because I knew there was probably, since I'm trying something a little new, I'm probably going to mess it up. So I had to keep flipping the canvas a little bit there just to get it so it looked like she was standing and wasn't going to fall over. Well, it's me, not she. Ha! It's me! Hi! <laughs> anyway, I put myself in braids this time. This, I couldn't remember what I wore, 
So, I was fighting with my brain for a little while on this one. Finally, I think I came up with something. Oh, here I'm just looking at it. I um, was trying to figure out if I drew myself the same each time. So I started drawing lines from like my chin to all the other chins to see if the chins lined up. And then I sort of drew with the shoulders to see if the shoulders would line up. And I was pretty close for the most part. But uh, I also was a little off, especially on my Sunday drawing. So. Uh, but here I decided to go with just a very classic outfit. Just uh, my plaid shirt, tank top, and skinny jeans. So that's uh, just a very easy throw-on kind of outfit. I think it suits me very, very well. Um, here I am coloring in the plaid. Yeah. I'm running out of things to say. My head looks really, really flat now that I'm looking at it. It's kind of funny. I think I fixed that a little later. I just add some random strands. It kind of gives my hair a little bit more volume. But I just realized the top of my head looks really, really flat. Kind of like Isabella and Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> I mean, it's not that extreme, but... This is what it's reminding me of when I'm looking at it right now. And I also shaded the jeans a little because I like to shade my jeans whenever I draw them. Not when I'm wearing them, when I'm drawing them. <laughs> I like to just add a little bit more texture to them just because if you color, if you try, just a tip, if you're trying to color jeans and you only use one solid color, it's not really going to look like jeans because jeans are very, very textured and they have a lot of colors to them. And I'll usually even go in with like a very skinny brush of like a very, very light blue and just draw in little bits like it's sort of, like it's sort of tearing apart. You know, when your jeans start wearing through, they start getting a little bit lighter. I like to add that too. Anyway, I think this is the finish. Yeah, look, here we go. We got Sunday, we got Monday, we got Tuesday, we got Wednesday. Day. Look at that. Those are what I wore. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and definitely check out Raven Scar. I'll have her um, link in the comments and you can check out her what I wore. She has a ton of them and they're really fun to look through. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all next week. I hope you have a delicious evening. Bye! -bye. Bye.